Sky Doink. Joy Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Are you guys ready? We're going to do a Lord of the Rings. Tales of Middle Earth. These are tins. I got them all numbered. So I'm just going to like start rolling the die. And whatever that guy gets on the die, that's which tin he's going to get. So there's only a number to four. So, you know, if you can't get a one, two, three, or four, I'm going to have to re-roll. This goes for one above all. Above the rim. He got four. Shwing. All right, so that's going to be his. And then we continue. Isn't this fun? Well, the fun has completely died out. Two. Um, this die's rigged, clearly. That That's a one. Okay, that's a one. Good old for Alec. I'm going to try to keep it on board now. All right, so we have two and three. So now we go to Alexander. Schwink. Oh, dude, what the heck? That's a six. Five. Come on, baby. Four. What the? Dude. Okay. I honestly believe this die is rigged at this point. There's a five. Uh, a six, five, six, and four. four. What the heck? That's a six. Are you serial? A two. Okay. So two goes for Alexander Hamilton, and Joey's going to get three. I like going last. Yeah, I'm in this battle because I'm going to smack the crap out of patrons. Here we go. All right. It's been quite some time. So, like, it took me a while. For the patrons that are watching this right now, and they're wondering, like, dude, what took so long? You said, like, was, like, about an hour. Yeah. I had to make sure the lighting was legit, and that took quite some time. Uh, just to give you, like, an example. Well, we'll get to cracking very soon here. But, like, yeah, I tried my best. I mean, I, I still need one more viewpoint from light in order to get, like, trifecta going. I only have two set up right now. Well, three, four, four lights, honestly, but... All right, anyway, let's get into cracking. So every single card is going to be factored in as long as it's more than 99 cents. So it has to be a buck plus, and it'll be factored in to the total, determining who wins based on TCG player market value pricing. Are you, ladies and gentlemen, ready? First up, we got Above the Rim. Above the Rim, is, is that a fair name? Um, everyone that threw down on this, it was $25 to get in. Uh, I mean, winner takes all. The loser gets nada, you know? But, like, I hope to smack the crap out of them. If I get the one ring, I'm good, baby. I'm good to go. Now, there are two guarantees. I mean, I guess I'll just factor them into this. Uh, that's this and a lot of where else. There you go. Beautiful cards. But I will put the prices of them on the screen. Uh, there's Lonnie. And there's Blade of the Elves. Sick little uh, commander there. A lot of people uh, tend to use them. Okay, so that's going to be part of this. But they're all the same as far as that goes. That's a guarantee in every single one of these tins. It'd be cool if they threw, like, a random, like, something in here. Like, hey, here's a random, like, serial number card. Like, <laughs> okay. No. Uh, fat chance, pal. Fat freaking chance, but let's get up into this. All right, I'm still getting used to like the camera being in front of my face, so like, bear with me. All right, we got a mountain. Again, 99 cents plus. If it's a rare mythic, no matter what, it's gonna be factored in, okay? And I'm gonna be constantly working on the quality of the lighting. I think I'll eventually like nail it. I just gotta get the three-point lighting down. It's kind of like a universal thing for people who record uh, videos. Uh, there we go, Bree Swindler. <sighs> hey, Bree. Bill the Pony. This is why people stop naming their child Bill. I understand now. Okay. Stew the Conies. Conies. Sure. Okay. But let me know your thoughts, like as far as like. If you watched the video yesterday, and then you're watching the video today, let me know if you do recognize the difference, including like what you see like in my like camera, like I was messing with him forever. Probably got a little anal on that, you know what I'm saying? Giggity, giggity, you know? Uh, Samwise, uh, the stout-hearted. Okay, all right, above the rim, let's go. Rest in peace, Pac. All right, West Elven Quartz is your rare. See, like, there's a little bit, like, like we need one more light source from over, like, to this this angle, like, shooting in, like, little beamer. 
Beam of Benz and Bentley's. Beam of Benz and Bentley. Beam of Benz and Bentley. Scheme and never. Okay. But we get that, and then uh, I think we're going to be golden. Yeah. All right. There is Protector of Gondor in foil. So to start things off, I'm sorry. Above the rim, your, uh, your light is looking a little dim. Dang, I did say 99 cents plus and every card will be factored in. I completely forgot about these, but I highly doubt any of these are worth more than a dollar. Probably like 20, I'm going to guess 24 cents. Did I mail it? Who knows? Did I nail your girl? Maybe. <laughs> did you nail me? Probably. All right, if we got a forest. Basic land. Thanks, Devin. Thanks for showing up today. All right, Relentless. I can't even say that. I don't know. Rally at uh, Hornburg, sure, dude. Quarrel. Mm, quarrel. I still gotta work on like the camera. I think I want it like slightly like up. You know, we'll see how it goes. Banish from Etheros. Oh, I mean, is the quality good though? I mean, all things considered. Like, let me know how I'm doing here, okay? Like, I'm constantly like adjusting. Windlord, bada bing, a bird and noble. And I do appreciate those who did leave feedback. Because that's the reason that it took so long. So for the other, like for one above, Alec and Alexander, if you want someone to blame for why it took so long for this video to drop, you can blame them because I wanted to make sure the lighting was as good as I could possibly get tonight. I still need like one more, uh, it's hard to say, but like if I showed you my setup, you'd be like, holy hell, you know, like it's pretty like in depth, but I, I know I'm missing a few things. Uh, just really one thing. Maybe some lenses, too, you know. Lost to legend. <sighs> I doubt. Okay. Gandalf, friend of the Shire. Okay. I don't know. He might be packing some heat. Avatar wizard, boy. And there is... Ooh, did you see that? I think we have an extended art... Something. Something or else. All right. Soren's Ransom. Anybody else got tattoos or, like, piercings? Or am I the only one? Not a happy ending, but a nasty ending. Oh, All right, yeah, we have fun. So there's a nasty end in foil. I mean, I'm gonna guess 41 cents, but you know, you won't know the actual price because if it's not over a dollar, it really doesn't matter. All right, above the rim, here we go, man. I understand your loyalty lies with Tupac. There we go. Okay. Could you imagine if one of these were over a dollar and they're not even like gold stamped that'd be sick all right spider boy Mirkwood bats Mirkwood bats someone made a video with Mirkwood bats like in a very fun eventful kind of game and i think i might like mock that but not with Mirkwood bats I, you guys will understand once i actually do it and i'll give like props and all that stuff you know but uh yeah it is a, a youtuber i actually do enjoy uh here we go all right white hand bottoming i'm gonna start doing a Commander. It's basically going to be a lot of Commander or Brawl in uh, or on Arena. There you go. Gorebag. Sounds ferocious. Trickery. The White. So we have Saruman. The White. Saruman's Trickery. And then we got Morgul Lieutenant. Well, hot freaking dogs. There you go, baby. Ah, oh, Tom Bombadil. What a little bastard. Mm, okay. We just rang out with a paint out. We're weighing out. Okay, that's where we hang out. Good old Tom Bombadil. I mean, he was like around five bucks when release started, pre-release, and then he plummeted. Uh, he's probably like around a few bucks. Whoa. What is that, French? L'Oreal. Hmm. Maybe it's Maybelline. All right, and then we got Orc Armory is our token. I should probably like flip the tokens just because, uh, yeah, just in case I need to. Tentacle, there's nothing on the back of Tenties. And on the back of, uh, you know, whatever. I don't think it matters. Okay, so there's one above all. Now we go to Mr. Alec. Alec Baldwin, you know? I wish you all the luck, my friend. May the value forever be on your side i'm probably gonna drop this video like sunday afternoon because i don't think it'll do it justice if i drop it at like two in the morning and that might upset the patrons that are involved due to what i said and i am sorry but i just feel it's the correct way to go so there's lonnie 
And there is Blade of the Elves. Okay. We're just going to keep that truck a rolling. Come on, baby. Could you imagine the one one ring? <laughs> I'd be like, well, well holy smothering tithe. Look at all that. All right, here we go. All right. Someone's going to pull some dirty-ass shit, though. Like, that's that's bound to happen. It's going to be me. I'm going to win everything. And everyone's going to be pissed, and they're all going to scream, It's rigged! It's rigged! That's that's why the dice were rigged! And Joey Morris, I can't stand you. I freaking hate you. I don't know why I watched this video to begin with. Kingfisher. Yeah, baby. Hey, man. Haters are going to hate. There's nothing you can do. You know, you're always going to have someone in your life that's just not going to like you, no matter what the hell you do. You know, you can kiss their butt. Seriously, you can put on some, like, lipstick, chapstick, doesn't matter what, Vaseline, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, maybe some KY, you know, holy smother and tithe it all up on your, uh, on your, you know, your, uh, your, your, your love blowers. And it doesn't matter, you know, they're still going to not like you. And it's like, sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck. Counter of Kills. Ooh. Rising of the day. More like rising in my pants. You know what I'm saying? Ho. Oh, okay. Knights of Dal Amrath. Pretty cool. All right. The extended art really does, like, do, do something for me. All right. There's um, Loth Lorien. It's not L'Oreal. It's Maybelline. Okay. Bewitching Leechcraft in the common. All right, Alec. Alec Baldwin's got to step it up. He's got a food token. I don't really think that holds much weight here, but, you know, Mr. Baldwin's going to give it a go. Just to help me uh, navigate my way. There we go. Oh, that's a soul ring. 72 cents. God, I bet I'm pretty close, though. I'm not positive about any of the, like, value of commons or common foils or common lands for that matter but i would assume that might be like a, a 58 cent land but you know i could be way the hell off but i mean you, you crack some uh you crack some collector boxes and you're you're bound to get a whole lot of them holy crap white 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 it must be a white parade what orzov <laughs> Okay, now we're doing the old half and half. Shadow summoning. Can we do it? Oh, still got the white. Is there going to be a white in every single one of these? No way. Okay, it just got dark in here. There is, it does say white. We're going to roll with that. Why does it say white, but it's still got black and red? I'm so confused. And there's more white. This is nuts. If every single card has white in it, like, oh, you know, like, I might just creep by myself. Samwise. Oh, and the word white does not even exist in that card. Tell me, how do you feel about that? Mm, I feel some type of way. All right, there's Mournful Avenger. Oh, the Necromancer. Avatar Horror. That might be worth something. I'm not really certain, but there you go. Okay. With Counter of Kills, Uncommon Foil. About freaking time. I think there's a little bit of work that needs to be done with uh, the background here, you know, coloring, but yeah, we'll get there. Hey, Colossus of Thardia. All right, big old nine drop for nine, nine golem trample. Colossus of Thardia, does tap during your untap step for nine and tap, so we're gonna play this ability. Yeah, I can't figure out which spice girl I want to impregnate. Which, if you could have one spice girl, which one would it be? I'm just curious, man. All right, we're dropping this. We're dropping bows. We are dropping bows, man. Elvish bows. Okay. Ireland. Alec Baldwin. He's he's going for the freaking glory. Glory and guts cast out of the foyer. I should have done some research because I probably could have just skipped like all the commons up front. Dang. I think uh, with these tins, they may have done something where like. It's a theme. You know, they did away with theme decks, but I mean, like, look, red, 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 blue, 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 But then we had black. Okay, nothing makes sense. Bree Swindler. Yeah, I'll tell you. The Grey Havens. Always look at this card and thought, that looks like value. Well, let me tell you, no such chance. No such chance in the pants. There is Esquire of Rohan. These are looking bad so far. But that's where I come into play. Just wait, we're getting there, man. There's Smeagol. Okay, in foil. And the old food token, nothing on the back. That's all she wrote. All right, Mr. Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. There you have it, man. Okay.
Alexander. Is that Asking Alexandria? Who could tell me we're Asking Alexandria? The band got their name. I wonder if anyone can, can figure that out. I don't think anyone can. Oh, did you hear that? That sounded like me creeping into the back door with your mama waiting in bed. I'm just saying. We have fun. We have fun. Hi, dogs. Okay. Hey, some of you might not be upset by that. A lot of our elves. There you go. Okay. Actually, I, I don't think a lot of people would be upset by that. Like, if you saw me just creeping around the corner, you know, and I'm, I'm just coming up in your mom, uh, your mom's back door. Oh, gosh. It just gets worse and worse as I keep talking. I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing. All right. Alexandria. Asking Alexandria. If you are a fan of that band, which I'm a big fan, actually, I went to uh, one of their shows not too long ago. Let me know what your favorite song is. I have quite a few. Shire Scarecrow. Scarecrows, you underpowered bastards. They're just some weak ass little straw boys, you know? Like, who cares? Took repeal. If someone pulls the one ring, it's like kind of game over at that point. I know. There's Book Boy. Ruling Steward. Steward. Old Man Willow. Old River. Anybody? All right. Okay. Nasty end again. Ah, I feel threatened at this point. One ring to rule them all. Was that like some kind of sick ass joke? I think that was a sick ass joke. One ring to rule them all. Like, really, dude? All right. This might be over a buck. Possibility. You know, it's legendary and is a two drop. And it is in good old, uh, I want to say Grixis. Oh my gosh. What is that color combo? It's not Grixis. What the hell am I smoking? Okay. Uh, those two. Oh, shit. I give up. Uh, ballistic Boulder. Ball, ball, ballistic boulder. Okay. <sighs> not, no, if they're not even like signature, they're probably not worth shit. All right, we got spider. Markwood bats. Mmm. You have any? Yeah. You want me to tell you something? Uh huh. Gray Havens. Here we go. Dauntless Rescuer. You almost thought I was going to mess that up. Like, it really seemed we were going that route, but it didn't happen. Undomino. Probably messed that. Probably butchered. All right, there's the wise Celeborn. Celeborn the wise and Mr. Friend of the Shire. Okay. Warden of the Tower. Oh, man, I can't wait to smack the living shit out of people on a good old arena. It's going down. Shire sure. We're not doing too hot right now. You know, and a lot of times with these, like, things, I've always wondered. Hey, there's a spirit token. My friend was looking for one of those. I always wondered, like, is it rigged? Do they, like, pluck the good stock? Like, let's take a look if, like, if we can determine if a pack has been, like, messed with. But also, if they're opening mass amounts of this shit, you know, once they pull, like, one or, like, after the second good mythic pull, they can take the rest of these and just, like, toss them to the side and say, all right, we're just going to pump and dump. And they could do that, you know? And if you get two good Mythic pulls out of a draft booster, odds are you're not really going to get too many other good pulls, especially if they're Mythic, out of that draft booster box. So there's something to think about. I know. I, I, I hope I make the gears, like, spin in your mind. All right, Smite Boy. Battle. Troll. Lorian. Undomino. Mmm. Wise. Mirror. Mirror around the wall. Who is the ugliest of them all? You never know. Merkwood bats again. See, that's kind of weird. Never seen so many bats in my life. You know, I actually have had some encounters with bats. There's Gandalf the Gray. You know, we're not even gonna go there. I mean, there's things I will <laughs> call the ring. Maybe four bucks. So that might be our most expensive card so far. Call the ring. Hey, a foil. Rare. That's something. River daughter. Goldberry River. Not to be confused with Dingleberry. And Dark Ritual, whoa, um, I, that's a good question on the list, what that would be worth. I, I'm going to go with 92 cents, just because it's on the list. I mean, I, I could be way off. Guys, I'm going to crack the one ring, and we're just going to call it a day, and that's a wrap, you know, something I actually fail to do often. But we're going to see exactly just what happens here. And thank you very much. If you want to be in one of these breaks for battles, because there's going to be plenty more of them. Like I, I would say on average I'm going to do four a month of these battles. And I would like to partake in as many as I can. You know, I may, I may partake in all of them. I don't give a shit. 
There were some haters a while ago, and I'm like, you know what? <sighs> a long time ago, someone told me winning is not everything. And I looked at that person, spit in their face, and said, no, winning is everything. If you're not first, you're last. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. Here we go. Can you imagine Lana War and I flip it and it's the one ring? No, it doesn't happen because they're all the same. All right, these are my three packs. Can I make magic happen happen? Bet your ass I can. Here we go. Planes and foil. That's probably already like a buck. Or just whatever. You know, no, planes and foil are usually not over a dollar. All right. Orcish medicine. Sure. Moldor, Mustar, Torment. Yeah, it almost seems like they are kind of themed, right? Soothing of Smeagol. Mmm. Okay, there's a dark, a dark entity there. Ring Sight. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that art. I'm just not. I'm sorry. Fiery Inscription. Okay, keep it going. Bitter Downfall. God, tell me a freaking another, man. Okay, whoa! Firebrand. Oh, man. Are you guys ready? This is going to change the fate of uh, Above the Rim, Alec Baldwin, and Alexander the Great all in one. It's not going to do it. <laughs> it's, it's not going to do it. Shire Shoref. Okay. And Horn of the Mark. Might be a buck or two. Let me just read what it does, and I'll tell you. Two drop. Whenever two or more creatures you control attack a player, look at the top of the your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it in, oh, put it in your hand. If it wasn't put it in your hand, if it was like put it out of the battlefield, that'd be busted as shit and that'd be worth a lot of money. So like this card, I'm really not... Oh, oh. yep. Sometimes it do be like that though. You know, gotta measure it. You know, sometimes it's, it's all about good measure. You know, like I'm just like, it's really all about good measure, guys. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There's Watcher in the Water. You know, it's a mythic foil. Could be a couple bucks. Might not be. Not even a token. We are some bum hobo living style mother truckers. All right, our pack uh, deuce. Sure, pack deuce. This is nothing. They get a foil mythic. Watch out for that. Watch out. That's right. In or out doesn't matter how you want to pop it. I can make it. I can make it happen. Fire into the fire. Fire deathless. Scared. Okay. Troll. I want to see them troll comments. Look at them haters. Joey, it's rigged. I hate you. You're a bastard. All right, Gums, but your dad never loved you. Gandalf Sanction. Ain't uncommon. And Council's Deliberation. <sighs> Why do we keep seeing such repetition? You know, MJ Holdings, I'm not really certain. There's Baggins, boy. We haven't seen that yet. There we go. A La Bellia Sackville. <laughs> Second Baggins. Take her back to my stabbing cabin. You know what I'm saying? Mushroom watchdogs. All up in the foil commons. And human soldier. All right, final pack. Can I win? Ah, probably. You know, if, if, I, if I just sneak attack this and just come in busting, that's going to be all worth the while, man. It, it will feel bad if I actually do win because this is the reason I didn't participate in, uh, in battles for probably about two years. But you know what? I, I'm kind of like, I don't give a shit. You guys want to say it's rigged? You know, go ahead and do that, okay? But I know who I am, and I know I'm not a piece of shit. So there's that. Protector of Gondor. Oh, rider. Riders of the storm. Ooh, did you see that? Little, little tickle pickle. I hate pickles. The white. All right, so I'm, all right, we got Brash Instigator. Oh, ground the gatebreaker. Mm, but not the gatekeeper. Dude, seriously? I think that's... I think we pulled four nasty ends, and they're all, like, extended art versions. Some horse shit going on here. <coughs> How's that even worth? Ward 3, it's a six drop. War, uh, the enchantment is Ward 3. I like that. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, copy it, except the copy isn't legendary. Oh, that's kind of cool. These kind of cards usually are busted, so there's that. All right, Stew the Counties. And Sword of Vengeance. Whoosh, whoosh, watch out, baby, come over you. 
The equipped creature gets plus two plus zero and has first strike, vigilance, trample, and haste. Three drop equipped for three. Not too shabby. All things considered, just based on like my knowledge of magic, the gathering, and cards and shit, like I mean, I think I won probably by like a dollar seventy-eight. Get out of my basement! You're a loser! Watch I lost. Thanks for tuning in. Join Moss Bad Boy Gaming. See the link in the description for Patreon if you want to be involved in these battles. And I do promise I will do four of these at least every single month. And it may be something I pick up at Walmart. It may be the tent. You know, it's not gonna, I'm, we're not going to do one of these again for a long time. Um, but it might be like the mystery boxes, mystery packs. It might be the commander mystery you know, decks or whatever. And, I mean, it could also be... Um, you know, like these, like these three collector packs versus these three collector packs, and and you know, down the line we go. Never know. Might just take an entire collector box again, like we did in the past, and just chop it up, see what happens. You know, have four people go at it, maybe six. Anyway, damn, it feels good to be a winner. If I lost, I really feel stupid right now. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Did I win? I don't know. I don't know. No turning back.